Uh, but now I'm going to show it, show it to you practically. Let's create boxes and elements. So I need a place for the navigation bar. Uh, Webflow has this thing called section and you simply use, you can use divs if you want, which is another HTML element, but I use sections in Webflow simply uh, whenever I want a whole new, quite literally a section. So <laughs> to contain stuff like maybe a whole blog post body, I'll put it inside a section. Inside a section, we put a container. Uh, now you see that the container helps you put some constraints and the container in general is HTML uh, container helps make <clears throat> helps make uh, content inside it responsive responsive as in if I resize the window if I look at it on mobile uh, the content will still wrap around it we will keep getting to it don't worry so inside the container I need uh, I need one more uh, box for this and a box to contain the links so let's do that that's one box there's two boxes. Let's expand this. Okay, so I'm gonna put one more box here. And now inside the first box, I'm gonna put an element. Let's call it, uh, I mean, we'll not call it anything. Let's just say it's my blog name. And inside the second box, uh, this one, I'm gonna put three links. So let's put link one, I'll just copy paste as you can see it's here i'll just copy paste paste done so let's say blog about contact all right well this doesn't look pretty and uh and it's not quite arranged in the way you want it to we can solve that very easily so this is where CSS comes in. Uh, as you can see, I have this one box and I have this other box and I want these boxes to be in the same line. So the, the parent box, the one above it, I'm gonna tell it whatever is underneath it, put it in the same line. So there's a way to do that, it's called flex. Uh, you won't understand everything, just follow along these steps. And as you keep doing them, you'll understand each concept. If I have to explain every concept, this video is never gonna end. And it's also gonna fly over your head just like it did the first time I tried this. So don't worry about it, just keep following. Uh, as you can see, flex gives me more options. It, it tells me, do I wanna place elements horizontally or vertically like it was right before this? I want it horizontally, but I also want this box to be on the left and this box to be on the right. Flex gives me a way to uh, justify elements like this, that's it. So as you can see, now I have my name on the left and these links on the right. Okay, great. Let's. Uh, looks quite bland, so let's just give it a little bit of styling. Um, let's say brand link, and I'm gonna give it some styling. I'm gonna use enter everywhere. I'm okay, enter is not here because I didn't add it. Never mind. Cool, we'll use open sans. I can always change that later. All right, so, oops, put it on the wrong place. Okay, now what happens is if you wanna apply a style to this, and if you wanna apply the same style to these, what you can do is you can give it a class. Class is simply like a label. It says that this, this, this element has something similar about it. So say, let's, let's try it on these. Let's say these are nav link. This is also a nav link. And this is also a nav link. Now, if I apply a style, since all three of them have the nav link class, they're all gonna change. Let's try that. I'm going to change the color first. That works. Yep, that works. Uh, this one didn't change because I didn't put that class, but if I add it now, style got applied. I'm gonna remove it because I wanna put a different style to it. And now, as you can see, the links are kind of stuck together. How do you change that? I wanna put some space between the elements. So I'm simply gonna put margin on the left. Should I put margin on the left? Yep, fine, should work for now. That's it. Uh, that doesn't look enough, so let's make it 16. That looks enough. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Looks fine. Little close to the edges, let's fix that. All right, let's fix that with container. 
devlog yes so as you can see this doesn't require anything on the desktop because it's not going to the edges but as i go to a screen oh this is like a, a landscape mobile screen here i would want to put something like 8px margin uh, padding on the left 8px this is the parent box which contains the other boxes maybe 8 is a little too less so let's make it 12 and this style also gets applied to the next uh, line I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit but now you can see that okay the links are not touching the edges what did we do we applied something called padding padding is when you have a box and you want to put space within the box so this is this this is the box outline and there's space within it padding and margin is when you want to uh, push space outside a box so we put margin here which means whatever is the next element to it it's trying to push it away a little bit if it has space if it doesn't then something else might happen uh, we'll do that later okay the links have some space on from the sides but they still they're still stuck to the top and uh, not that great right so let's fix that next let's put 12 from the top 12 from the bottom panic yep slightly looking better now let's see uh, this one's not looking that great so let's make it nav brand link just coming up with names you can come up with anything but try to use a nomenclature that you can remember what it was for later otherwise it gets difficult i want this to be my name my blog's name uh, so let's just my name looks weird so let's just put my name in this case and I want to make the font slightly stronger. Maybe even apply a little bit of color. So let's do that. Okay. I somehow pick this color. Maybe I want to make the font slightly stronger. So I made it semi bold. Font slightly larger. That's it. Looks nice. But I don't want that underline and maybe you don't want it to. So you can see that there's something called uh, decoration here. Uh, when I remove that, the underline is gone. Cool. We have a header. It's a fully functional header. Now I'm just gonna tell you what all we did right here. We created a section. We put a container inside it. Uh, these are pretty standard. Again, like I use them as a hierarchical way to put anything within anything. Uh, you can directly start with a div log if you want. Uh, but some, there are some styles that sections and containers already have, which constrain elements within some window, which helps. So I just go with it. Uh, and then I use boxes, box, box, box. Uh, first box uh, allowed me to center uh, these elements, put them on the left and right, like this box and this box, the child boxes. And then it also allowed me to add some gap from the top and bottom and allowed me to add some gap on the uh, sides. Now, what happened here? Uh, I used layout, which is basically quite uh, obvious. I use layout to be able to say that I want to change the way these elements are positioned. So that's where I use layout to add flex. Uh, again, these all these elements, you learn one by one, but layout basically means how are elements positioned. Spacing, quite obvious again. If you want to add spacing outside or inside a box, I use that to, as you can see, it highlights exactly where uh, the spacing was added. Size, size of the element. Uh, we'll get to it it's more obvious when you uh, use an image or something uh, typography again very straightforward the font use the font size any styling on the text like aligning it uh, center aligning it justify ital italicize like this or you know text decoration which is basically underline strike through and stuff like that so all of these options are available here and this is what we did uh, i would say that if you are trying to familiarize with yourself with this just go through each of them one by one don't try to go don't try to look at everything look at layout okay try all of these options just see what happens try spacing try everything just put everything and just see what happens as you change them size position do the same thing you can ignore borders and effects for the time being but try layout spacing and at least uh, typography those are the main ones okay and then something else happened here as you can see, there's no space in this box on the corner. It's not even here because it's still away from the edge, but it's here. This padding only comes in after this view and anything lower than that. So what's happening here is 
uh, HTML, CSS. CSS is cascading style sheets. What that means is if I apply a style on the computer, the desktop, that same style gets applied to a screen smaller than that, smaller than that, smaller than that. And if I apply a style only here, like on this screen width, and uh, then the style does not apply to a screen larger than that, it, but it does apply to a screen smaller than that because it cascades CSS. So therefore, when I applied this padding here, uh, the uh, left and right one, it got applied below, but it wasn't applied on the ones above that. So that's CSS, the way cascading style sheets work in a nutshell. It goes from uh, whichever screen you apply the style to lower ones. And if you want to apply something here and you want to change that here, set them in both places. So maybe I want font size 20 for this and this. So, uh, so I'll put font size 20, but from here I want font size 16. So I'll change it to 16 and this and this will have font size 16, something like that. Okay, with this, we have a fully functional navbar. It doesn't have any links as such, but can, you know, we can get to that later.